What's good, y'all? Back downtown in the big city, sitting at my desk on the laptop, and um, about to put this video together for y'all. So please enjoy the content, like, comment, and subscribe. It's your boy Measley G, y'all, and I'm out. <laughs> Good morning, family. It's your boy Measley G. And before we get into it, if you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, that notification bell. And make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you think about the content and the shoes. All right. Now, a little bit of that footage that you just seen is Tire and Wheel Cafe. Yes, I'm going to shout them some love today. First and foremost, they are on Harlem Avenue in Chicago. 3900 North Harlem Avenue in Chicago, okay? You definitely want to reach out to Idris, Miss Dean, and um, definitely get you some rims, some tires. You got shoes on your feet, now your car needs shoes for its feet. You feel me? One goes together. So they're located here on the north side of Chicago, literally across the street from the Hit Mall. All right, so right there, Harving and Irving, boop, boop, right there off the corner. All right, go check them out. Show them some love. Your boy Measley G will be in the building. I'm going to set up a little area where I can sell shoes. That way it will be a place where people can come in and do trades legitimately with people without having to worry about going to a gas station or something like that. So your boy Measley G is trying to set up a little spot where people can come, mingle, buy shoes, order shoes, as well as trade shoes with random strangers, okay? Alrighty, now let's get into this video. We have it here, Jordan 1, and this is a size 9, it is not a personal pair. I decided to opt out of getting a personal pair of this shoe. Okay, this is Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Sail Black Phantom. Now, I do like the concept of it. As you see, we got our standard box here, so that's nothing to complain about. Now, I do like this. I do like that these came with double laces. You got black and you got red. I like extra laces. It gives us uh, more variety of things to do with this shoe. Now, don't get me wrong. I like the Phantom, okay? Let me tuck this on the inside. Yeah, don't get, don't get me wrong. I actually like this shoe. So if you like this shoe, definitely pick up this shoe. This shoe is definitely dope. It has the same look as the, um, as the Turbo Greens and the Crimsons. It has the same look of leather, but it does not feel the same, okay? You see the little wrinkles and folds in there? You see all of that? Yeah, just like it is on the other two, except the other two, it feels like a soft leather. This is hard. So this feels like a plain hard leather that just got wrinkled. It does not feel the same as the other two shoes. You can see the work in the toe box too. So this looks more of a design opposed to the type of material they used. All right. Now what I do like is this is actually Phantom. So I know the camera doesn't do it much justice, but this is actually the Phantom colorway. So this right here, your leather here, which does feel nice, and on your swoosh, that's actually Phantom. And I want to say maybe Phantom Gray. So if you can see it coming around here, swoosh, and here, all around here. This is all the Phantom colorway. And this here is the white wrinkled, crinkled leather. All right? You got your, 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 your tongue. It's white with the black stitching. That's actually kind of fire. I like that. So I like the concept of this shoe. Coming up here... This uh this this feels so cool. This feels so breathable, this material. I want to say it's satin like, but it's not. Let that clear up. I want to say it's satin like, but it's not. And other than that, you have your all white sole. All white. Some people thought it was gray, like a light gray at the end, like down here at the 10 by the stars, but it's not light gray. It is all white. Just like it is on those Jordan 1 Coutures. Alright? So, bam. That is the shoe and it's gist. Just a good look at it. Um, we can take a look at the insole too as well. You got your all-white Jordan insole. 
with the uh, red Nike inside. Nothing special. If you do the little toe box, there's no give. There's no give in this toe box. Look at that. There's no give. This shoe is stiff. I don't like the material of the white on this shoe. It looks like the other two, but it's just stiff. It's just stiff. So I think the concept of this shoe is dope. I think they could have went with different materials. Like they could have hit us with that um, with that leather from the Crimsons or the Turbo Greens. That would have been dope. Maybe it still would have said spring 2019. I have no idea why they didn't drop that. March is still spring 2019. So that's how you know this shoe is made by a different person. And a lot of people try to figure out why is the quality of their shoes different okay or well, why is the quality between Jordan 1's different the way I look at it it's like Jordan 1's have been made the same if you look at the um, the Sports Illustrated along with the Rookie of the Years how they both had that flap out there I believe the leather on the toe boxes and the side panels had the same consistency with the materials so that leads me to believe and I could be wrong but that leads me to believe that whatever factory produced the rookie of the years also produced the sports illustrators right which when i think about the crimsons and the turbo greens i think hmm whatever factory produced one must produce the other two as well and i feel like either even if this is the same factory that produced these because you know sometimes this little point right here is off it's not always just above. Sometimes it does sit on the Nike check. And that doesn't mean it's fake all the time, guys. Doesn't mean it's fake. And I could be wrong again saying this, but this is a speculation, but it's one that I feel that may be true. That, like I said, Jordan 1s are produced in a certain factory. It's kind of like if you get an NRG. I believe all NRG shoes are produced in the same factory. I could be wrong, but I know that's a team. So it could be the team that just designs the shoe, or it could be a team that designs the shoe and in a, fact, in a factory that creates the shoe. I'm not certain on those, but those are things I like to think of when I think about why the shoes are different and why certain shoes are similar in quality and um, material used. Okay, so that's just to get that out there. Other than that, we can pull both of these out for you guys. And I'm doing this for you nice and early because I'm headed downtown to another conference for two days. So I'll be out Monday and Tuesday once again. So if this doesn't get up this morning, your boy was busy um, with the conference and couldn't get a free moment to try to edit and upload it. That's why I'm trying to do this in one single take for you guys. So it'll be easier for me to throw on the laptop and just hit send. Okay, I'm going to throw in a couple clips of some other stuff. But other than that, this is it. I do like how they have the leather on top of another piece of material for the swoosh if you see that bam I do like that it's got the little gloss to it, it looks like a thicker no it's not a thicker piece of leather could be but it's got a little shimmery aspect on top of it but you can only see a very little of it like once you see it in hand you'll understand exactly what I'm saying but other than that I would give this shoe design wise I would give this shoe I would give it an 8.5. I really like it. It's better than the metallic because the metallic red is way simpler than this. I just wish they had red at this very bottom of this shoe and then would have been an automatic instant keeper. But for me, this is a dropper. I don't like white soles unless it's on all white shoes. And even then, I like for them to be cheap. So like those noise canceling joints, that may be the only all white Air, I mean Jordan 1 that I cop. Or the only Jordan one with the all white mid um sole and midsole. I don't mind the midsole, but I definitely mind the sole. So that um, noise canceling, if it's not too hard to cop, if I think it'll be worth it, I might cop that because, like you said, that could, that's good for a custom or something of the sort too as well. So outside of that, just to give you a quick look. Once again, we have our Jordan one Phantom. Concept is dope. I like it. Your boy just don't like the all white sole. They really need to start giving us red. Because once these get dirty, these are dirty. It's really hard to tell the contrast unless you have them in hand between the phantom and the white. And I know that's another aspect I like that's something you have to have in hand. But I don't like how it has that crinkly leather look. And it's not soft. It's not subtle at all. Okay? So let me know what y'all think about these. Will you cop them? 
Will you drop them? Let your boy means me know. Other than that, it's time for me to go. All right. So um, I'll see y'all on the next channel. All right. Make sure y'all check out the Tire and Will Cafe. If you're local to Chicago, if you're in the area, if you're in the suburbs, make sure if you're about to hit mall, go check out the cafe, okay? The Will and Tire Cafe, okay? Will and Tire, Tire and Will. Make sure you check out that cafe, y'all. Check out some rims. They got great prices on tires and rims. So it's a double pub in this video, guys. Like I said, once again, I would like to create a spot in that store where people can come, you know, move traffic through the store. You can meet up for shoes, trade shoes. Also, I'll be in there selling shoes too as well. So once I get that all set up, you know, I'm going to come back to you guys with some more footage. I'm going to show you the space in a little minute. And we'll go from there, okay? So you'll take a quick look inside, and you'll see where I'm possibly going to set up. And you'll see the front of the store so you won't miss it. All right, y'all. It's your boy Measley G signing out. I'll see y'all next time.